Okay, no hammer. We're just gonna go straight into it. Okay, Adam, it's not like I host any of the Carlton Weeklies and see them play each other, you know? Like, they're both at the house at the same time. Both players just kind of scrapping it out right now, mm -hmm. feeling each other out. Yeah, I, I could see No one's that. gotten, like, a really long, good punish yeah, off of their opening yet. There's been no uh, sequences yet. It's just been, like, two hits here and then... Hit for hit. Oh, should've just gone for the... Just yeah, the should've just waved smooth, dash back. Smooth S smash. Basic. Uh, no, basic, S but well, it'll work. Well, S-Smash, no, um, if he would have had to time it, like, he could have yeah. snuck under it if he didn't time it. Uh, the only guaranteed thing there was just to grab the edge and roll. But that was what you, but that was what you said. Like, he could have waved dash back and then timed it with an F-Smash. Like, that could have just been way more optimal than trying to... No, just uh, wave dash back and dare. grab the ledge. Because oh. he wasn't making it on stage. I'm saying F-Smash would have been, like, more difficult. But he made it on stage, didn't he? No, no he grabbed the ledge. He... Oh. Oh, Clem okay. missed a back air. And that's what that's why he got back, because he just grabbed the ledge. Okay. Vichy gets it back though. Nice little double shine. Ooh, Ooh the standing laser. laser, gangster. Obviously a mistake. That's unlike Clem. Uh good, reacts good to the, the and above ledge to the side B. Yeah, that was that was really nice reaction by Vichy. Taking the lead here. A laser reset, but he drifts back to grab ledge. That was that was smart DI, I think. Ooh, it doesn't could he have DI'd that? If he had DI'd that fully in, would he have lived there? Um, he, I don't think so because Clem hit he was him with so. Like a really nice was, high part of the down. It was that a was high like part a way at the back. It was nice, but he was really close to the ledge, so I don't think so. When he when he DI'd him, he was. He had like the god smash DI though. He Potentially, just god, god tier smash DI. Yeah. Anything is possible with God Tier Smash. Ooh, nice shine. See, Clem is is v doing. Vici actually doing has really good sh uh, shine game. His well, shine what Clem's game? doing is when he gets hit off stage, he's panic up being up being way too soon, and uh, Clueless or Vici is just react reacting to it and just jumping out there and shining oh, yeah, him because this is, this it's, is it's, it's preemptive, right? Because he knows Vici. he's gonna do that. Clem needs to take a, like that extra second to dip a little bit lower, like like how a Marth would if he was if he was recovering. Ooh, that's it. That's it. Bad yeah. mistake by Clem. Good shine spike to clean up that last stock by Vici. Vici has a really nice uh, shine game. Shine spiked him three times that stock. Yeah, but Clem definitely needs to clean up his recovery. Like he's edge guarding himself by just instant up being there. No, he's he's doing the he's panic jumps. It. He's panic jumping. Yeah, I probably would have had to SDI that down air to live. Mm, but like God's God's your SDI probably, you know. So uh, I think Clem needs, uh, I think, a, in my opinion, a bigger stage because his laser approaches were not that strong and they were very uh, repetitive. You know, like one to two, okay, one to two shots. FP. Okay. I agree with this. I think uh, Clem's combo game on Fox is really good, and he just wants to put that. Here we go. Good combo. Clem, Clem getting things rolling now. It's a really nice sequence. Uh, didn't really get to finish that, but now it's uh, Vici's turn. Ooh. Goes either way. No tech. Hits him with the F smash. Uh, Missed times the F tried, tilt there. Tried to to spot dodge, or to, to air dodge on the stage, I should say. Okay. Nice F smash there. So again, they're playing Scrappy again, hit for hit. Nobody's really getting a sequence of this stock. But now Clem with the, uh, the shines. shines. Shine, shine, shine. Ooh, Ooh nice dare calling out the, the jump, air. and that is it. Very Unsafe nice. jump from Vici. Good awareness by Clem, too. Yep. Falling up there. Couldn't get a second, a second hit there. 
Ooh. Tries to read the roll, but goes the other way. Ooh. The classic. Ooh. Ooh, but gets the uh, follow up with the down smash after missing the F smash. That was really nice. Up tilt, up, up air. air. Ooh, good smash DI. Back on the shines. Yeah, see, this is exactly what Clem wanted here. His his zero to forty is just purely shines, and he likes it. Uh, dash up smash. Vici just trying to compose himself right now. He knows he's not really happy with his performance right now in game two. You can see that. A uh, bad trade for Vici there. He didn't really want to take that, but he's at a really high percent. He's got to get a shine spike. Uh, that was a really risky uh, recovery dare right there from Clem. Don't you think? No. I've seen Falcos do that on the daily. That I don't agree with. That was, that was went to the ledge for free. Mm -hmm. Clem kind of playing a little antsy right now. I think he's trying he, to he's he, trying to end the game really yeah. quick. He's he really wants to close it out. a little bit. Bad hit. Oh, does not put in the jump. Tied one and one. Ooh, immediately Ooh. to Yoshi's. Yoshi's. Okay. So I think uh, it's an obvious counter pick because yeah. Clem is very heavy with the gun. Yeah, Clem was definitely getting the approaches and the combo starters he wanted there on FD with all the space. And no platforms, of course. Just keep those shines going. So now you see uh, Clem's play style is completely changed because he can't really resort to the gun because it's... Yeah, uh, but it's changed for the worse. Like, yeah, he's, it's he's rolling and forward smashing in neutral. Mm -hmm. That's not what you want to see. Three piece. But... Even though Vici is picked to a smaller stage and, you know, Clem is limited Great angle. limited uh, without the gun, he's still not controlling center that well. You see Clem's uh, controlling center most of this game so far throughout the first minute. Good dare. Takes the first stock. Yep, get no shine combos going again. Yeah, reacts to the roll. Giant Ooh. there. CVG just needs to recompose himself. That was a that was a zero death stock. Yeah, no. Okay, there okay. you go. <laughs> commentator's curse. Commentator's curse. <laughs> Vici's gotta you know eliminate the stock really fast, whether it be through a, a strong punish game, or quick gimp, or he could just take that side B. You know, commentator's uh, we, we, curse. Com <laughs> no, commentator's blessing. I told him that he has to get rid of that stock. Oh, and it's, a, it's a curse for Club. But, I guess, okay. Game's back to even. Bad SD by Clem could cost him the set and possibly... You just gotta shake those off. Yeah, you gotta shake those off. Did not look phased by the side B. Normally you see Clem, when he's flustered, change the motion. TI's in on the on the fair. VG stacking up a uh, good percentage here. Mm, the dash attacks. Optimal. Don't do it on shield. Uh, see, okay, I, don't, I, don't like that. I don't like that approach uh, oh, okay. Clem. I think he's... Clem potentially on his last stock here for the set. He's got to close out this stock. Does not get, uh, space the F-Smash well. Trade, though. Good bear. That is uh, it. Last stock. Right, last 8%. Percent. Stock. Nothing. That's nothing. <laughs> this is going to be some, some... Definitely some spaghetti. Some spaghetti. As much there is spaghetti right next to me because I had to bring some food to the venue. Uh, so maybe I, I blame it on me. Attacks. Oh, no. oh, that was unfortunate. That was it. very unfortunate.